As we learned in chemistry, solubility is the ability of one substance to dissolve in another at a given temperature and pressure. It is expressed in terms of the amount of solute that will dissolve in a given amount of solvent to produce a saturated solution. A saturated solution is a solution being the most concentrated possible. Many different factors can affect the solubility of a solute. For example, temperature, agitation, stirring, and pH. Another factor that may affect solubility of a solute in water is the surface area of the solute. In this experiment, we will be testing the dissolving time in seconds of a granulated sugar versus cube sugar. Overall, the question in our experiment is does surface area affect solubility? Our hypothesis for this experiment is that the larger the surface area, the less time it will take to dissolve. In this experiment, the cube sugar has a small surface area and the granulated sugar has a large surface area. It may appear at first that the cube has a bigger surface area, and in singular form it does, but if you add many granulated sugars, it has more areas to interact with the water. For this experiment you will need regular sugar, a scale, sugar cubes, little trays, a thermometer, a timer, a stir, a hot plate, and a thousand milliliter beaker. First measure the mass of the tray. After that, measure the sugar cube and the granulated sugar. In this experiment, we dissolved 2.5 grams of both the cubed and granulated sugar. In order to get accurate measurements, we needed to subtract the mass of the tray. Fill the 1,000 milliliter beaker with 900 milliliters of tap water from the sink. In order to save time, heat the water in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Place the beaker on the hot plate and turn the knob to 10. Keep an eye on the temperature and wait for it to hit 40 degrees Celsius. When the temperature reaches 40 degrees Celsius, drop the sugar cube in the water and begin stirring. Also, don't forget to start your timer. Continue to stir at two revolutions per second. Keep stirring until all the sugar is dissolved, then stop your timer. Record your results on a piece of paper. In this experiment, we did three trials to test surface area's effect on solubility. The two sugar forms we used were cubed and granulated. The cubed sugar had small surface area and the granulated had large surface area. At the end, we took an average and got 85 and 42 seconds for the cubed and granulated sugar dissolving time. We used this to draw conclusions on our experiment. This graph shows the data for trial one. In this graph and the following, the x-axis represents the form of sugar and the y-axis represents dissolving time in seconds. This is the data of trial two. This is the graph for trial three. This graph shows the average of all the data we collected. The data supported the hypothesis of the larger the surface area of the solute, the shorter amount of time for complete dissolution. The 2.5 grams of granulated sugar had an average dissolving time of 42 seconds to completely dissolve when the water was 40 degrees Celsius. However, the sugar cube, which also was 2.5 grams and had a smaller surface area than the granulated sugar, 
had an average dissolving time of one minute of 24 seconds. Therefore, the solute with the smaller surface area will take the longest to dissolve.